board this level. My name is Luan. I'll be your storyteller and captain for today. For your safety, please make sure everyone is fully seated at all times, keeping our hands on the lights inside the boat, and please supervise children. Many people visit and channel boats through the page of the book, but for those who visit in person, find themselves falling down a rabbit hole or maybe using some pixie dust. Now it might look like we're about to be swallowed up by monster of the boat, the same way that us the Petal of Pinocchio. But don't worry, we're about to be transported into a magical world called Storybook Land. Our story begins like all good stories do. Well, once upon a time, there was a big bad wolf who lived in the cave to our left. Luckily, the three little pigs live all the way on our right, and their house is made of straw, stick, and guaranteed wolf-proof brick. around the river bend and to our left is the Queen English village where on the sunless golden afternoon found herself following a very late white rabbit down 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 the rabbit hole and then she got curiouser and curiouser from there. On her right is London Park where Peter Pan, Wendy, John and Michael flew over on their way to Neverland where they never ever had to grow up. Straight ahead is the shiny, shimmering, splendid city of Agrabah, where a street rat named Aladdin met and fell in love with Princess Jasmine, who had escaped the palace walls. Aladdin and Jasmine's love blue, as they soared over, sideways, and under on a magic carpet ride. There are trees just like the ones that are passing under now. As we head into the Cave of Wonders, it is said whoever finds a magic lamp and always is a genie gets three wishes. Happy past five, let's all make a wish. Hopefully they all come true. The white wish to get away from the evil queen. Her wish is granted when the seven dwarfs come up in it for her kindness. I want her to stay in their cottage on the right. If you listen carefully, you can hear them in their mind in the back. On our left in the blue chateau, Claire Cinderella wished to go to the bath, but her stepmother forbade it. With the help of her fairy godmother, though, her wish came true. But at the strength of midnight, her carriage turned back into a pumpkin and can still be seen on the bridge to this day. Once a glass slipper fit, Cinderella went to have a rock with Prince Charming in the castle atop the mountain. Once 
a wish just for you, little mermaid named Ariel, who wished to be part of our world. When her wish was granted, she got her human legs and joined us up here in the human world. And let's have the raptor with the in the castle on our right. On our left, behind the waterfall, you might just get a glimpse of Ariel's undersea home of Atlantica. And as our story comes to an end with a half of raptor, please remain seated, keeping your hands on the fingers inside the boat. So please remain seated until I count to three, and then everyone will stand up together. Thank you for watching the Mermaid Mystery Hour. Thank you for watching the Mermaid Mystery Hour. Please remain seated until I count to three.